All right, what I have here are several histograms for different types of quantitative variables. And if you look at these, these all have different shapes to them, how they look. Well, when we have a histogram, when we have a distribution of a quantitative variable, one of the things that we can describe is its shape. So there's a few aspects of its shape that we can talk about. The first one I'm going to talk about is the number of modes. All right, and a mode is where the graph goes up and down, kind of like a peak. Sometimes it'll say how many peaks or you can think of it like a mountain. So it goes up and it goes down or it just goes down. So we've got one here. So this bar right here, that is a mode, the entire bar. So between seven and seven and a half, a magnitude between seven and seven and a half. So that, that occurs more often than any other bend. So that bend between seven and seven and a half is the mode. And there's only one mode. So we would call this particular graph unimodal, one mode. This, and it doesn't go up and down, it just goes down, but this one has a mode over here. So this graph, this bar right here, that bin is a mode. So I look, 3,000, so there's two bins between three and 4,000, that means the bin widths are 500. So between 2,500 and 3,000 is a mode. So this is also unimodal. Now if I look here, I'm, you know, if I'm kind of tracing, I go up and down and up and down. So this has two modes. So we got a mode here and a mode here, all right? So, this is called a this is called a bimodal distribution, which means it has two modes. Now it doesn't matter that this one's taller than the other. When we see things that are bimodal, we kind of think of there's two different groups probably that's in underlying this data. So there's people whose diastolic blood pressure is kind of low, and there's another group of people whose diastolic blood pressure is kind of high. And for some reason, so they're kind of like, it's, it's like there's two groups that are kind of overlapping each other in this graph. And in this left cluster of people, this cluster of bars here, the mode is between, let's see, we got 70, we got one, two, three, four bins between 70 and then are 10. So there must be 10. 40 divided by four, there must be 10. So this is 70. So between 80 and 90, could be from here, that's around 80 and 90, there's a mode. And then over here between 120, which would be here, and 130, there's another mode. Right. Now this is some sort of body mass, and I don't know why, but there's three modes. So I've got one, two, so I go up and down three times. There are three modes. So if there are three or more, we usually call it multimodal. All you know, and this has, you know, it has a mode here. And this tall one is a mode here. And this tall one has got a mode here. Now this guy is kind of weird. It actually, this is called a uniform distribution. And that is because there really are no modes in this distribution. Now you might think, well, there's a mode there and there's a, but there's overall, this graph kind of looks like it's flat and I just have a little, sometimes I have a little bit more, sometimes I have a little bit less. So whenever I have a flat distribution where everything looks like it's about the same proportion all the way across, so I say that is a uniform distribution. 